Santa. Please bring me a friend for Christmas. Thank you, Casper. Dear Santa, please bring me a friend for Christmas. Oh! Christmas is the time for friendship and goodwill. Friendship and goodwill. <laughs> I'm going out to make friends. Merry Christmas, sir. You dropped a package. Thanks, Sonny. I got it! Christmas Eve, people won't be friendly with me. Merry Christmas, Santa. Merry Christmas. Uh, <laughs>
Muscles McGurk, the world's strongest man. <laughs> Introducing Misto the Magician. Get away, kid, you bother me. Who will entertain you with baffling feats of legerdemain.
Sonny, I'm giving you a lifetime contract as star attraction of the circus. <laughs> star on TV. <laughs> fair and square way to settle who should autograph the kid's book. That's right. We'll let our public decide who is the top TV cowboy star. Now you're gonna see some real fancy shooting, little fella. Wowee! That's real keen shooting! See that bottle over there? Schooner. Well, do I get to sign your book now, boy? Gosh, I think it's a tie. Watch me break that tie, Sonny. <laughs> now I'll sign that book for you, kid. Yahoo! How's this for trick riding, little fella? Willikins, that's the not so fast, boy. Let him try to top this. Oh, that settles it. You look like the best cowboy star, Mr. Quiet Burp. Will you please sign... <laughs> Genuine cowboy can rattle us here. I guess there's no doubt now who should autograph that book of yours. Why, you double-crossing coyote. You were the first to play dirty, Bill. Quiet. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Uh, Mr. Cowboys, why don't you settle this like you always do on television? And how's that? Why, with a gun duel, of course. That's a good idea. I'll meet you at the corner of Hollywood and Vine at high noon. Oh, 
Startled me, old boy. I'm sorry, sir, but why are you booing? You'll have to excuse me, Sonny. I can't stop to chat with you right now. I must continue my booing chores. Boo! 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 No boo! How about a spot of tea? That would be very nice. It's been beastly lonely here the last hundred years. Then why do you stay? Well, there must always be a Montague in this castle. And until one of my descendants comes here to live, I must stay and haunt this old place. Gee, Sir Montague, maybe I could find one of your descendants. Bully, Casper, bully! I hope you can find one, old boy. Sir, is your name Montague? Pardon me, but is your name Montague? By Jove, a ghost! <laughs> Excuse me, but are any of you named Montague? Why? A ghost! <laughs> I'll try. Montague. Hmm. What's the first name? Gosh, I don't know. Hootman! A ghost! Gee whiz. I'm not having any luck at all. Londonderry Offnage. Maybe there's a Montague in there. Please, ma'am, but are any of the 
children named a ghost. <laughs> Casper, you did it. I'm free at last.
To work. Oh, I'll never be able to go through with it. I just know the boss is going to say no. trying to get up enough courage to ask Mr. Pickle for a raise, but I'm afraid I'll get fired. Life is nothing but a gamble. You gotta take a chance. Oh, I wish I had your courage. Well, chum, you can stop worrying, cause I'll help you get that raise. Oh, you're a real pal. Don't forget the speech I wrote for you. Come in. Come, come, creepers. Speak up. I'm a busy man. A ball. A ball. A ball. A ball. A ball. Boss! I've worked for you, Mr. Pickle, like a dog for ten years. And I... But I... I... I Demand, uh... You demand what? A glass of water. <laughs> oh, I didn't have the courage to go through with it. Creepers, where's my pill? Right away, Mr. Pickle. Pill? I'll get them for you, pal. <laughs> Buddy, 
Creepers, where's that pill? My boy, how long have you been with this organization? Ten years, sir. By Gadbury, this calls for a celebration. Creepers, let's drink a toast to your loyalty. Could I ask a little favor of my old pal? Why not, my boy? How about giving your old buddy a raise? A raise? Creepers, that's a dirty word around here. Oh, me. Now, this is the idea. I'm gonna phone Pickle and set you up so that he'll be glad to give you a raise. Hello. Do you have a Mr. Creepers in your employ? Yes. I understand he is grossly underpaid. He is a man of many talents which obviously are not appreciated. Therefore, I would like to hire him at double his present salary. Under no circumstances will I let him go. Mr. Creepers, would you please come into my office? Jeepers, you're a real pal. Well, thanks to me, my chum's troubles are over. This is terrific. He makes an executive, huh? You must be a vice president or something. How much of a raise did you get? He not only cut my salary, but now I also have to go to the bank every day to deposit the firm's money. <laughs> gonna pay for this and I'll get fired if I don't get this money to the bank the money that's it we'll put all that dough on a sure thing and with the winnings we'll fix the car well chum you can't win them all you know I'm getting you the best lawyer in town and uh, who's that why, me, of course. And while speeding to the bank under the strict orders of this tyrant, Mr. Bickle, my poor client almost lost his life in an automobile wreck. Then, without a thought for his own tortured, mangled, broken body, he crawled to the racetrack on his hands and knees, where he thanklessly tried to double his boss's money. Oh, stop it, stop it. I withdraw my charges. Well, pal, I understand you got your raise. Yeah, but look at this. It'll take me 30 years to pay this up. 30 years? Oh, that's job security. Say, I never thought of it that way. Oh, how can I ever repay you, Jeepers?
is the early, early, early show. And time for our Peppo wake up pills. Ben, nothing shaves like the Slasher electric razor. Today we have a brand new sponsor. Laddies, economize. Use thrifty blades and cut your electric bill as you cut your whiskers. Throw your electric razor out of the window and go right now and get thrifty blades. Did you throw this out of the window? Why, you, yes. I'm gonna paste you in a teat. Protecto has a safeguard film, and that's the honest truth. Just use Protecto toothpaste and you'll never lose a tooth. Go ahead. I'm protected. See? And now, viewers, it's instant TV breakfast time. <laughs> Use classy, glassy floor wax. Just pour it on and presto, your floor will look like glass. And it's scuff proof, too. Use classy, glassy floor wax. Just pour it on and presto, your floor will look like glass. And it's scuff proof, too. The Do It Yourself Show. And here is your TV handyman with a few valuable tips on plumbing. Just tighten up the loose nut connected to the feed pipe. The feed pipe connected to the U-joint. The U-joint connected to the elbow. The elbow connected to the drain pipe. The drain pipe connected to the forward trip. The forward trip connected to the back trap. The back trap connected to the jigger pipe. And there you are. Handyman, it's time to relax with a mild black foul cigar. <laughs> Fuddlehead! Look what you've done! Where are we going to get the money to fix this? Viewers, do you need cash for house repairs? Go to the Easy Breezy Loan Company. Strictly confidential. I'd like to make a... Shh. Strictly confidential. A thousand buck loan for TV, Fuddlehead? A thousand buck loan for TV, Fuddlehead, coming up! Honey, I just got a loan Fuddlehead. to... Fuddlehead? You're overdue on your first payment. But, but, but I just got it. Didn't you read the fine print in your contract? First payment must be made one hour after signing contract, or your entire estate will be confiscated. OK, Irving, take it away. <laughs> you and your TV. Look at the mess you got us into. The It Pays Dough to Know Show. The correct answer to just one question will win our grand prize. And the lucky contestant is... TV Fuddlehead? Yeah? Who was responsible for the discovery of the power of an electrical current of one ampere flowing across a potential difference of one volt? Uh, what? You are absolutely right. It was James Watt. Mr. Fuddlehead, you have just won all the luxuries of modern living. Breathe from financial worry for the rest of your life, plus your very own home in a secluded spot. Fuddlehead, you and your TV got us into this whole crazy mess. All the luxuries of modern living, free from financial worry for the rest of our lives, our own home in a secluded spot. What are we going to do out here in the middle of nowhere with all this worthless junk that's cluttering up the place? <laughs> 
Now, a word from our sponsor. Are you thirsty? Is your mouth dry? Try Pico. It's so smooth. some help. Oh, who are you? I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. The ghost? Please, let me explain. Zounds! Oh, the castle is haunted! What? But, sir... Oh, 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 sir ghost, I surrender. Oh, my horse couldn't jump this raging torrent. Raging torrent? Why, this is only a babbling brook. And this isn't even a real horse. I know, I know. Oh, I'm terribly afraid of real horses. Oh, in fact, I'm afraid of everything. You want to know something? They call me the Timid Knight. Ah, breakfast. You must save him, Sir Knight. Oh, but who's going to save me? Come on, they went that way. Oh, and I'm going this way. I'd better take a shortcut. Mr. Bear. A, a, a ghost! Oh, so I have. What have I done? Showing your bravery by saving a little fellow from a ferocious beast. You're a hero. A hero? Now you don't need to be afraid of being afraid. Well, what do you know? Oh, I'm a brave knight. What do you say we go to my castle and celebrate? It's about time you get home. I've got a message for you. It's from the princess. Oh, my heavens to Betsy. Oh, she's been captured by a dragon. As soon as I sharpen your sword, you will rescue the princess. Now's your chance to really show your bravery. Oh, I'd love to, I'd love to, but there's one thing. I'm scared. But you were able to beat a ferocious bear. Oh, but I'm deathly afraid of dragons. Dragon Den, one mile. Genuine fire-breathing dragon. Uh, uh, did you say fire-breathing dragon? Why, yes. I'm going home. Oh, oh the very thought burns me up. Don't be silly. Good. We found the dragon's den. This is good? Now, go rescue the princess. Oh, Casper, couldn't you do it for me? But the idea is for you to do it to show your courage. Well, what about him? I'll attract his attention, and you sneak past into his cave. Oh, Mr. Dragon! A ghost! <laughs> you can't scare me! I'll smoke you out! Now to see if Sir Knight reached the princess. Hi. Ah, a ghost. Oh, don't worry. Oh, he's Casper, the friendly ghost. You know, he's shown me how to be a brave knight. Come on, I'll dash out first. And when the dragon chases me... We'll escape. Hello again. Huh? It's that pesky ghost again. I'll fix you for one more territory. But can't we be friends? Oh, so that's your game. Helping the princess to escape, huh? Gosh, he's getting close. Oh, Casper, Casper, tell me what to do. Defend yourself, Sir Knight. I saw it. Oh, will you look at it? Oh, it's melting. <laughs> Do you know something, Casper? We should have brought a fire extinguisher. That gives me an idea. Now I'll get you. Follow me, Sir Knight. Under this waterfall, quick. Oh, my fire is going out. I feel so much better without that burning in my throat. <laughs> That's what probably made you so mean and bad all the time. Yeah, but now I feel good and hungry. Yum, yum. Ah! What you need is a change of diet. You're right. I'll eat the night instead. That isn't what I mean. Wait here a minute. 
Here, try some of these. Mmm, delicious. What strange food is this? Fruit and vegetables. They'll make you strong and happy. Boy, this is good. Thank you, Casper. I'll never read anybody again. Oh, and Casper, Casper, you have shown me that even I can be brave. Goodbye, friends. Hope you find your way home, Casper. Well, that's one night I won't forget.